In an era where maritime strength defines regional dominance, the Philippines is quietly developing a potential game-changer. Not with billion-dollar warships or foreign-made missiles, but with a simple-looking wooden vessel that could shift the tides of asymmetric warfare. Welcome back to News PH, your trusted source for updates on Philippine military and defense innovation. Today, we explore a project that defies conventional expectations, the Pallet Unmanned Surface Vehicle, USV, a low-cost, locally built, but potentially devastating suicide drone. A suicide drone disguised as a fishing raft at first glance, this vessel resembles a wooden bona, a common sight in Philippine waters. But underneath its humble appearance lies a lethal secret. Developed by Filipino engineers from Mindanao State University, the pallet is not just a drone, it's an autonomous suicide craft. Unveiled during the Philippine Navy's first self-reliant defense posture SRDP, summit in Manila, this USV blends traditional maritime design with modern tactical innovation. It's a suicide drone that disguises itself as a civilian boat, said lead developer engineer Rembrandt Kokon. At first glance, you'd think it's just a supply vessel. But in reality, it's something far more dangerous. The silent bomb, inside beneath its wooden frame lies a 150-kilogram passive explosive, nicknamed the silent bomb, designed to detonate on impact with high-value enemy targets. With no active remote guidance, it's immune to jamming or electronic countermeasures, relying on stealth, misdirection, and brute force. Picture this, a billion-dollar enemy warship patrols near Philippine waters. Suddenly, a seemingly harmless raft approaches, maybe carrying a fisherman or cargo. Defense systems stay silent, until a massive explosion disables the ship's radar or propulsion system. In one strike, a modern warship is rendered useless. If their radar or propulsion goes down, even a billion-dollar ship is worthless, Kokon explained. This is asymmetric warfare, smart, cheap, and devastating. Smart, asymmetric, and Filipino-made speaking at the summit, DND Assistant Secretary Osto Gage laid out the harsh truth, we cannot compete conventionally with powers like China. But asymmetric capabilities, that's where we can gain the edge. And this is the kind of tech we need. The Pallet USV embodies that philosophy. It doesn't need naval bases or carrier strike groups. It can be launched from any shoreline, making it ideal for an archipelago with over 7,600 islands. High-tech simplicity don't be fooled by its rustic exterior. The pallet is equipped with Starlink satellite communications, giving it near-unlimited operational range. It weighs up to 650 kilograms, carries 120 liters of fuel, and can operate for up to 48 hours on battery power alone. This flexibility means it can serve in both reconnaissance and offensive missions, capable of tracking enemy movements or delivering a sudden strike with minimal detection. A milestone in local innovation the project began in July 2025, after Mindanao State University received a research grant from the Department of Economy, Planning, and Development. Over the next two years, development is expected to continue, with hopes of mass production or even export in the future. Defense analyst Chester Cabalza, founder of the International Development and Security Cooperation IDSC, sees this as a major leap. We can't match large defense projects, but with Filipino ingenuity, we can still compete. This drone is a smart beginning. He also highlighted how drones proved effective during the 2017 Marawi siege, and sees unmanned surface vessels as the next logical evolution in Philippine defense. From U.S. aid to local solutions the Philippine Navy is no stranger to unmanned maritime assets. 
It currently operates four T-12 Manta semi-submersible drones, donated by the United States through a $500 million foreign military financing FMF, program. These USVs arrived ahead of U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin III's visit to Palawan in November 2024. But the Palat USV represents something different, a move away from dependency on foreign platforms, toward homegrown ingenuity. While the T-12S are advanced, they come with complex protocols and reliance on foreign logistics. The Palat, in contrast, enables decentralized warfare. It's a weapon that doesn't need a navy base, just a stretch of coastline and a mission. A message to the world the development of the Palat USV sends a clear signal, not just to allies, but to potential adversaries, the Philippines is ready to fight smart, not just big. Traditional warfare often favors the wealthiest militaries. But by investing in asymmetric systems like unmanned vessels, aerial drones, and cyber capabilities, the Philippines can defend its territory without crippling its economy. Most importantly, it gives Filipino scientists, engineers, and innovators a chance to shine on the world stage. With Filipino genius, said Cabalza, we can definitely compete in the market. As prototypes continue to undergo trials, the world will be watching. Whether or not the pallet becomes a frontline asset, it already marks a bold leap forward in the Philippines' quest for a self-reliant defense industry. So next time you see a humble raft on the horizon, think twice. In today's evolving battle space, even the simplest platforms can pack the most powerful punch. For more in-depth defense analysis and military updates, stay with NewsPH, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a critical story. Stay alert. Stay informed. And as always, defend the homeland.